Yeah, maybe we just go back inside. Got it. What's up guys, welcome to Now or Never. We saw all of your guys' comments and we thought we would make a video specifically for the people who want to get into the schooly life, the van life, the traveling life, whatever you want to call it. Because we understand that a lot of the stuff that we're doing right now seems a little bit far-fetched for a lot of people. The topics that we're going to discuss today are how we got started, how we got the confidence to take the leap to quit our jobs, where we learned the skills to be confident in how to do this, whether it's building, making money on the road, Road, where we found our school bus and where we bought our school bus, where is the capital coming from to renovate the bus, how to make money while on the road, how long we plan on traveling and living in the bus, and why we are doing it. Hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will feel a little bit more confident that you can do it yourself. So let's just jump right into it. How we got started. I started YouTube about five years ago and I moved to California, got a job at a studio, met these two beautiful people, and this guy's my brother, so I've known him my whole life. They had the idea at first to do like the van life type of thing. The three of us were working together. We would do like weekend trips. We went to Yosemite, we went to Death Valley. The dream would obviously be to travel full time, so we just started talking about it. We, for a few years, researched the heck out of it, how people do the renovations, how expensive it is. We wanted to make it a reality, we just didn't know when, how, until we met Gunner. And that's probably all the questions that you guys are asking right now. I kind of just came up with this idea. Ultimately, we wanted a little bit more flexibility with our time, which is probably what a lot of you guys want. So I ended up coming to them, you know, just buying a bus and making YouTube the primary job. It kind of just took off from there and a lot of things just started falling into place. How we get the confidence to do all of it, I think is about who you do it with. Can you like work through issues and problems that you're gonna, you know, inevitably come across? We were absolutely 100% positive that this is what we wanted to do. So financials was a part of it, just in making sure that, you know, we have enough savings in our bank for a rainy day. We have possible investors or we have some sort of revenue to get us started. That kind of gave us the confidence is having that financial stability to, in order to get this thing started. Making sure that we were all 100% in. A lot of communication. The encouraging part is knowing that we're all very practical people. We have backup plans. We have like, okay, if this goes wrong, then you know we'll settle down here for a little while, get a little part-time job. We know we can make money in multiple different ways. There's so much opportunity out there. It's not the type of generation now that you have to go to into an office nine to five, Monday through Friday to make money. <laughs> 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 If you're disciplined enough to learn constantly on your own, you'll be fine. We just wanted the skills that we had to be developed enough where we felt confident in the idea of making money through them. Keep your day job until your dream job or whatever starts making more money than your day job. But we didn't do that at all. <laughs> whenever you feel like you're ready to take the lead. As long as you're adaptable, you can make it work. Where we learned the skills to be confident in doing this. My past job, a lot of that was DIY stuff, and I did learn a lot of just building and practical tips and stuff. Everything I've been learning how to build and do stuff besides from you yeah. um, is just watching YouTube videos and seeing how other people do it and just replicating. This couch that Ashley's sitting on right now, there's five different versions of this specific couch on YouTube and how to build it. Yeah. I know every single one of you guys could. As long as you have the tools to be able to do it, a hammer and nails, trust me, you can do it. So where did we find our school bus? There's a lot of websites that are auction websites and you can buy buses straight from the school district. You're able to find them in almost every state in the US. Basically how it works is just, they put the buses on there that have been expired from working at specific school districts or schools and they auction them off for a really reasonable price. This one originally had no bidders on it whatsoever and I was gonna get it for $500. The person ended up putting a reserve on it, so I ended up having to talk them down from like $4,500 to $3,000, which for this thing's still not yeah, very much. Yeah. Like if you look at buses on Craigslist, look at buses through private sellers, this same exact bus would have cost us about seven to $8,000. With a lot more mileage on it With too. a lot more mileage. You wanna buy these straight from either government or from school districts. The one that we bought our bus from was 422 online auction sales. The website looks kinda janky, 
shaky, but I promise you it's 100% legit. Mm -hmm. I think when you sign up, it's like a $10 sign up fee or something that's like right. that. Honestly, that's the best way I would recommend buying a school bus because otherwise you're just gonna be paying a lot more money than you would have if you went through a school district bus. Where are we getting the capital to renovate the bus currently? We originally had a couple of investors that were interested, but none of them ended up working out. We decided to do is kind of just turn this into a business and open up a business credit card. That's what we're using currently to renovate the bus. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, holy crap, he's like running up a $17,000 credit card. Currently, we're making money from YouTube revenue. We're investing in this bus. We all plan on living in it. And then by the time we're done traveling, if we haven't paid it off, we can sell this bus or resell it to someone who wants an RV or wants a little vehicle to travel in. I'm confident we could sell this for more than $20,000, which means yeah. that we would not be in debt whatsoever, even after building this bus. A lot of you were wondering why I mentioned possibly selling the bus. So that's after we end up traveling for like two to three years. <laughs> I don't necessarily recommend this specifically for everyone because you really have to know that you're going to pay it off. 17,000, that's our mortgage for four people. Yes, that that's a is huge part. so cheap. Well, if anything, you're possible. actually building credit You are, too. you're building credit. Like you guys were paying hundreds of dollars a month in California for rent. A monthly rent, if you will, or mortgage payment is $125 between all four yeah. of us. The only thing that really keeps a lot of people away from this type of lifestyle is just solving the problem of making money on the go. And as long as you figure out a way to solve that, you don't even need to make very much. You just have to make enough to slowly pay off yes. the bus if you wanted to do it the way we did. What, what are some of the ways that you guys can see yourself making money that gave you enough confidence to quit your job? I do a lot of photography and I want to sell my portraits. Online work. I know Ashley and I have looked at like data entry stuff. There's a ton of opportunities online for freelance work. You can write a sentence. You can get a freelance writing job. It's really not difficult. Difficult. There's a ton of places who are looking for writers for like magazines for anything on the internet like little ads marketing stuff like that if you're good with numbers take QuickBooks and you can do bookkeeping online. It's like brainless math. There's just no different such stuff thing like as brainless math. Well, <laughs> I suck at it. You know. Capitalize off your skills. Like if you know how to make something, Capitalism. sell your stuff. Yeah. If you have knowledge in a certain area, set up services online to like teach. Wait, I'm making money and plan to make money on the road is mostly freelance stuff with editing. Right now I've done editing wedding videos for people or podcasts or video lessons. I have one lady I work for that she does like health and fitness type stuff, but she doesn't know anybody to put together video lessons for her like curriculum. So I help her with that and get paid and take time to learn the skills, invest in yourself. And even if you are like working a full-time job after you get home, of course you're gonna be tired, but you gotta be willing to put in the work, you know? And I paid exactly $0 to learn how to do any of that. How long do we plan on traveling or living in the bus? I think it really just depends. We haven't seen a lot of the states yet. We talked about some places we'll probably spend like two days and then we're like, all right, on to the next destination. Arkansas. <laughs> some we may want to spend, you know, a week, two weeks, maybe even a month. I think it kind of depends on that. We're still mapping out our route and trying to figure out what places we want to hit, what we want to do in each place. So my guess is probably like a year and a half in the bus in the states traveling. Last thing you want to ask yourself is why you want to do this. Like we said before, if you're not completely dedicated to it, don't buy a school bus. Like that's probably the stupidest decision yeah. you could possibly <laughs> make. I still get looks every time I tell someone I bought a school bus. We kind of just want to travel. We don't want to be tied down in a nine to five. We're nomads. We just want to go <laughs> places. We just want to go wherever we want. We'll yeah. meet a ton of people that we would have never had the chance to meet before. Being yeah. able to travel is a huge part and we're all really, really excited about it. But I think the fulfilling part of all of it is the people people that we're going to meet and the opportunities that we are going to have in order to help people that mm -hmm. can't help themselves or just need, you know, a blessing throughout their day. Not all of this is rainbows and butterflies. A lot of this is really hard work. I know that we edit it to make it look really, really fun. But there are a lot of days where we're just unbelievably frustrated with the bus, frustrated with each other. That's just one of the things that you got to deal with and is your motivation more than your frustration. Mm -hmm. Be realistic about it too. It's a huge lifestyle change. Well, I specifically can't really give too much. Well, actually, I don't think any of us can really give too much insight on it because we have not lived a single day in this bus just yet. I hope you guys feel a little bit more confident that you can actually do this to whether it's opening up a credit card or just doing it slow and steady, putting it, buying it
riding the bus at first and then slowly over the years putting a little bit of cash here and there. I know plenty of people who do it that way too. That wasn't for us. We just wanted to take the jump and just go for it because I'm a risk taker. If you guys have any more questions whatsoever about this whole process, about how we're doing it, anything whatsoever, leave it in the comments down below because we're definitely going to be searching through all the comments to uh, try and answer everything that we possibly can to help you guys out. And if you guys really want to do this, I promise you it's not as difficult as you mm -hmm. think. You just got to make it work for you. If you guys end up buying a bus and making this your dream, hit us up because we want to <laughs> meet you after our bus is done. We're trying to get onto that schooly community life yeah. and then also just send us a picture of your bus too because we'd love to see yeah. what you did with your yeah. bus and stuff yeah. it's now or never